Hi everyone, my name is Em. You are watching Life With All Of Us, and today I'm gonna do a video on how I keep my house so clean with so many animals. I have had so many family and friends and random people ask me how I keep such a clean house. Now, it's definitely, it is definitely a joint effort between my husband and I. The main thing that I can literally tell you is don't have carpet. If you have a lot of cats and you have a lot of dogs, do not have carpet. None. Not even area rugs. All that carpet does is get dirty and keep nasty smells in. When I moved into this house, I ripped up all the like 60 year old shag carpet and it had these beautiful hardwoods underneath. So we kind of lucked out, but um, the upstairs hardwoods and then the basement is tile and bathrooms are tile, all that good stuff. So it kind of worked out, but um, yeah, carpet's a no. Carpet's a no-go. Even with hardwood floors, you obviously have to keep your floors clean. So um, my husband, he likes vacuuming instead of sweeping, so that's his job. And then we obviously mop as well. I just got this Bissell steam mop. It is everything. I... <laughs> I do not know what I've done without it this whole time. I'm obsessed with it. Another good thing to have is air purifiers. Air purifiers are huge. We have one on every floor. Can you get down? Thank you. Um, we have an air purifier on every floor. Make sure you replace the filters when you're supposed to and those work really, really good. We have um, humidifiers where we need to, dehumidifiers where we need to. We have a lot of machines in this house. Do not use ozone machines. Those are really bad for animals, so I suggest you steer clear of those. Paper towel and spot cleaner are a must. This is for puke, this is for pee, this is for poop, this is for whatever. Um, but we go through so much paper towel, especially with um, all my reptiles and spot cleaner for all the dogs and cats and stuff. Obviously, if there's a mess, clean it up immediately. Don't wait, don't leave it, pick it up. Um, you know, that's the quickest way to get rid of smell and mess, obviously, is to clean it. If you are picking up pee or poop, either flush it down the toilet or put it outside. Don't put it in your trash inside. It's gonna smell. I spot clean my reptiles daily. I have all that in a plastic bag in the animal room. And then every few days, I take it out because it starts to smell and it's gotta go. Air fresheners are good to have as well, but we don't have a ton of... Um, we don't do a lot of spray unless it's natural. We do have some natural sprays that we use. <laughs> we also go through a lot of towels weekly. Uh, one thing about, one thing about beagles is that they're very hard to potty train. And even when they're potty trained, they have little bladders. And due to the fact that we have so many cats, we can't have dog doors. So if I don't wake up in the middle of the night, every night and let them out, they go to the bathroom in the house. So my next best advice is to have washable pee pads. I wash them weekly. They can use them for a week and it doesn't smell. These washable pads are amazing. These are a must have if you have dogs that are maybe older and have bladder issues or um, just stubborn beagles that don't wanna use the bathroom outside. That's fun. Airflow is extremely important with animals um, so that that obviously gets smells out of the house. It opens it up. It freshens the air. Um, so anytime you know you can have windows open. We live in Michigan, so it's really cold out right now. Um, so we can't have the windows open. If it's super hot in the summer, because we do have hot, humid summers, um, we also don't have the windows open we have the air on so you know there's not a ton of time in michigan that we have windows open but when we can we love them open it always just freshens the air in here moves it all around it's just good for everybody it's important also with a lot of animals like especially dogs and cats to change your furnace filter way more frequently than it says to. Um, we change ours every probably six to eight weeks um, and that's tops and that helps a lot as well. I do our laundry weekly. Um, it's just my husband and I and then all these animals. So I do the laundry, I wash the bedding, I wash my animals bedding. 
she just got her dad's sock. Anywho, it's also important to have like waterproof floors wherever you can so that liquids are not able to seep into or under the floor, which will mold or smell really bad. Um, we're actually dealing with one of our cats has some urinary issues. He's on meds, but he likes to spray still in these two main spots. It used to be a lot worse, and so our basement did not smell good for a while um, because of it. But, you know, with air fresheners, with cleaning it every day, with, you know, everything we could think of, um, it's helped a lot, and now it's it's a lot more under control, so it doesn't smell in our basement anymore, and it's wonderful because I hate that. I hate the smell of cat pee. I mean, I don't really know anyone that loves it, but no. I also have these charcoal air freshener things, I guess, and they don't smell. Um, they, they don't have like a scent. They just, um, it's like a canvas bag of charcoal, and I hang them on each floor. That helps. I mean, I just do a lot because we have so many animals. And obviously when you have animals, your house is gonna have a scent to it. It's gonna smell like animals. However, you know, washing your animals or, you know, washing their bedding, keeping the floors clean, having air purifiers, doing everything you can to make your house uh, clean and smell fresh is, you know, the best you can do. But when you have animals, you're gonna have a house that smells at least a little bit like animals. We use a lot of enzyme spray, which, uh, neutralizes uh, pet urine odors so we go through a lot of that as well but cleaning as you go is super important um, grooming if you have long-haired animals oh, when my dogs are outside if it's muddy or rainy or snowy you know they have to walk on a towel when they come in so that it doesn't traipse through our whole house and we wipe their feet off there's lots of ways to keep houses clean however most people don't have the amount of animals that we have, especially the amount of dogs and cats that we have. We just switched most of our litter boxes to the new, um, I think it's Arm & Hammer, but it's amazing. My dogs don't even try to eat the litter if they get to it because they can't smell the poop because this litter is so amazing. And so that has helped greatly with smell because with eight cats, it's a lot of poop. It's a lot of litter boxes and it's a lot of smell so this has literally changed my life I love this litter so much we have a very large fenced-in yard for our dogs it's like four lots and we have a fence and gates that cut off over half the yard so if it's like raining really hard and it's muddy and it's a mess we close the gates so they can't get down there and that also helps to regulate all the dirt and you know junk coming into the house get your animals fixed not only am i not a fan of breeding because it's so overdone and there's way too many animals without homes um, if you fix your animals it's less likely that they'll spray they're not obviously going to have you know they're not going to menstruate and get that through your house so fixing your animals is not only like a must but it also helps with cleanliness in your home we wipe down our counters daily with cats our cats go where they want we have too many of them all of our animals we just all cohabitate and it works really well but our tables our counters our desks you know everything like that we wipe those down daily or every other day to keep those clean as well make sure you use pet safe cleaners natural cleaners things like that you don't want to be using bleach and ammonia and all these wild things that can harm or kill your animals another big thing with six dogs it's so important to pick up the poop in the yard it's a lot of poop, it's some time, but it's imperative. Then they don't get poop on their paws, they don't bring it in your house, um, and your yard smells better, because when it gets hot and humid here in Michigan, you start to smell that, and it's not good. With cat litter, it's super important, especially with eight cats, that you scoop the litter daily, if not twice. This is huge for smell, for cleanliness. Now listen, I think it's really important to know that if you are going to have a lot of animals, then you have to provide for them. You have to give them and keep them in clean environments. And this is a job. I am lucky enough that I only have to work part-time. My husband works full-time. He's like a workaholic, um, but this is my life. I've dedicated my entire life to animals um, my whole life. My parents gave me my love of animals. I've never even gone a single second without an animal in my life, ever. Um, 
animals in my life. This is what I've dedicated my life to. This is what I want to do. This makes me happy. Um, but don't go get a bunch of animals and then get rid of them because they're work or neglect them because it's work. Um, having animals is work. It's I call them my kids because their work just like kids i mean they need attention they need love they need you know t you know hygiene they need to be healthy um you know so for me it's it's what i love and it's easy um but it's also been a lot of trial and error and a lot of trying different products and um trying different things and what works best for keeping a house clean with 45 animals. So I hope this video was helpful though. I hope you could um, get some ideas from this and hopefully that'll help you in your life and with your animals. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. If you have suggestions, comment. But like my videos, uh, subscribe if you feel inclined. Um, share the videos if you like them. Um, all your help is appreciated, but you just watching is amazing and I appreciate it a lot. As I say with all my videos, don't breed. Uh, love the animals you have, love the animals you come across, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.